everyone and welcome to my kitchen here in Northern California. My name is Mindy Hilton and I'm super excited to be cooking with you today. And you know we've already had our share of savory dishes using that new Kraft Philadelphia cooking cream in the Italian cheese and herb and in the savory garlic. And I gotta say, as much as I love those, I've been extra excited to try the original. And I've was so excited to pop the top and taste this little guy and he, you know what I thought sweet yeah sweet I'm gonna do something sweet for you today because I wanted to talk about not how you know this can of course save us time and money by not having to use as much heavy cream and butter and salt in our dishes like just you know tonight I was thinking you know I could use this in my stroganoff and skip the sour cream, skip the salt, skip the butter, skip the heavy cream, and it's gonna, of course, save you time and money. But you know what? I wanna talk just for a second about how this not only can make our lives easier and save us money in the kitchen, but it is gonna make us seem like these brilliant chefs in the kitchen because it's gonna add this delicious richness and creaminess to our dishes that we just can't do without craft. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be making a trifle that's really easy, beautiful, and delicious, and I've made it for my family on many occasions, but I've never made it using this product because it's new. And you know what, I'm so excited to see how it works. I'm gonna try just substituting some of my Philadelphia cooking cream for some of the milk in the pudding that I'll be using in my dessert. And you know what, I just bet it's gonna be richer, creamier, and more delicious. It's going to be fabulous. Okay, so let's get started. started here. All I'm going to do is take some instant vanilla pudding, and you can use regular or sugar free if you like. And I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl. And whenever you're making, you know, pudding, it's nice to have a cold bowl and, um, of course, cold milk. It'll help your pudding set up faster. And if I can get this open, there we go. Just going to dump that in. And then I'm going to add just one cup of milk, not two like it would say to on the package. And I'm using whole milk. You could use a lighter milk if you like. And then I'm going to take our little special secret ingredient there and use that Philadelphia cooking cream. And I'm actually making a vanilla pudding and a chocolate pudding today, so I'm going to just use half of it because the other half is going to be going into our chocolate pudding. So, and I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to kind of split it down the middle there and put that in. Okay. And I'm going to mix this slowly so hopefully I don't end up wearing it and having to change. And you'll want to mix that for just um, one and a half to two minutes. And you might need to stop in, in between time and stir okay, the Okay, our vanilla the pudding is done. And all I'm going to do is put it into our nice big glass bowl. And you know, I'm doing this like family style in one big trifle, but um, you could use this, you know, in individual portions if you wanted to um, put your ingredients all in separate little martini glasses or wine glasses or little glass dessert bowls, you could do that. there and I'm just going to kind of scrape the sides and put this all into our nice glass bowl and now I'm going to do the exact same formula for our chocolate pudding and you know what since the chocolate since I did the vanilla first and it's not as dark as the chocolate I don't think I'm even going to take the time to rinse the bowl so now for the chocolate we're going to put one cup of milk again the rest of our Philadelphia cooking cream. I'm going to get every last bit of that because I know it's going to make this dessert just extra special, extra rich and creamy and so good. My family's going to be so excited tonight to eat this. I know I am. There's going to be some bowl lick in here in a minute. And that chocolate pudding. And I'm using instant, and I'm using the size that serves usually four people. And like I said, I'm going to mix this very slowly so that I'm not wearing it. 
and then I'll well, meet you now. Well, now that we've got our instant puddings made with that delicious Philadelphia cooking cream, from here it's really just assembling our beautiful dessert. And we've already got that vanilla pudding in there. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some crushed sandwich um, cookies and I'm, I'm using two types. I'm gonna use a vanilla and a chocolate and I've broken them up. And like I said, that was 16 cookies of each. Those yummy sandwich cookies that we all love. And now, and can I tell you, I had to, I had to stop and um, check my face because I got a little crazy licking the chocolate pudding off of the beater. It's so good. So much better than it usually is. And now that we've got our crushed chocolate cookies in there, and there's no right or wrong way to do this, I'm just going to try to arrange it the way I think it's going to look prettiest from the, the side. And now that I've got that in there, I'm going to be using some cherry pie filling. And this is a sugar-free, but you can use whatever kind you like. And I'm just going to plop this on top of those cookies. And so this dessert is going to have a lot of different textures, which I really, really love. And it's going to have a lot of different colors too, so it's going to be very pretty. It would make a beautiful centerpiece on our table. And that's exactly what it's going to do tonight, if I can keep my boys from eating it <laughs> until dinner time. And if you, you're not a big fan of cherries, you could use a different type of fruit in here. But I love the cherries with the chocolate pudding and the chocolate cookies. It's going to be so good. Okay, getting every last bit of that. And have that beautiful color on the side. It's going to be gorgeous. Strawberries would be another one that would be really good with this. And now we're going to take our chocolate pudding that I had all over my face a minute ago. And we're just going to put that in here and spread it out. Okay, now that the chocolate is all spread out, that chocolate pudding, we're going to take our broken vanilla sandwich cookies. And the kids love to break these up. I give them to my eight-year-old and... Of course, sometimes I have to watch them, otherwise I might not get all 16 cookies back. There might be some nibbling on the way, but he's, he's very helpful in the kitchen. And now that I've got those in there, I'm going to top it with some Cool Whip. And I'm using a fat-free Cool Whip, so even though this is going to be a really rich and delicious dessert, we're going to save a few calories. And of course, you could use whatever type you like. And I'm going to put the whole thing in. Again, resisting the temptation to lick the bowl. I'll wait till the camera's off. And I'm just going to spread this out. And I love doing desserts like this because you can make this ahead of time and stick it in the fridge. And there's nothing to heat up at the last minute. No baking. And it presents so well. It's so beautiful. Everyone's eyes kind of get bigger when you see a dessert like this brought to the table. There we go. Just make it nice and pretty. And now for a little bit more chocolate and a little bit of crunch, I'm using just some mini morsels. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could also dust it with some cocoa powder. But I'm just going to sprinkle some of these on top. I think they're going to add, you know, more chocolate, which is always fine by me, and some nice texture and crunch. And that was a quarter of a cup. Ooh. And we probably don't even need that much, but when I'm in charge, we do. And like I said, easy, beautiful. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. I can't wait to try this. I hope you'll give it a try because you see how easy it is. And you know it's going to be delicious and rich thanks to that Philadelphia cooking cream. And believe me, I was already looking, licking the, the beaters. It's very good. Until next time, bye.